But how much longer are you going to wait? Until he's ready to talk again. You've got armed units. Why are you not using them? That's a last resort. I've explained all this. Yeah, 12 hours ago. He's got a knife. He could have stabbed at a death by now. I know it's hard, but negotiation's a long game. Trust me, it's a way to get shown out safely. Oh, are you joking? Oh, she insisted on coming. That nice police officer said they're still in there. Mum, I told you to stay at home. Yeah, I, I bought you some breakfast. What do you think it is, Dale? A picnic? I'm here to support you, David. Well, would you like a bacon bun? What a song. Cheers. Can I set you back, please? Has there been any progress? No, it's the It's everyone wandering around doing nothing. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Pally's killers in there, Nick. I'm not having history repeat itself, I can't. Don't even think about it. Where's Ricardo, money? Why ain't he still there? Well, they're not gonna leave. And you're going to die. <sighs> Clayton, the longer this goes on, the worse it's gonna get. Oh, shut up. Where's the carbon, the cash? We're just waiting for headquarters to clear the money. But we're working on it. You've got one hour. We're moving as quickly as we can, Clayton. Could I possibly speak to Shona? No. Well, I need to know she's okay, otherwise I can't give you what you want. Tell them you're okay. Oh, uh, I'm okay. One hour. And don't think I won't kill her because she's my mum. I will. My toast, Ben. No, it's not. It's got black bits on it. Yeah, so it should be. Hey, oh. You all right, Summer? My toast is burnt. It isn't. Well, that's what he said. We agree on toast. We should have breakfast sometime. Um, maybe. Uh, to, to discuss the bail accommodation. Agreed. You just seem to agree on a lot. And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Well, we need to drum up some support for the place. Because if there's any opposition, they might even shelve it. I'm good at campaigns. We could have a meeting. Speed dial at one. Uh, um, yeah. All right, then. I'll leave you two to talk about toast. School. Where's the new children? I've already told you. They're helping Granny Audrey. I don't Wait. believe you. Everyone's acting weird. I want ice cream. Well, you're not having it for your breakfast. Um, hi, Alex. Sorry. Can I just get a large coffee, please? And um, and two coffee. Uh, no, not two coffees. Two porridge. Cheers. Come on up. Thanks. Good morning. Hey, you all right? I want to know where they oh, are. Max, please, come on, be quiet. Can you just help Lily with a seat? Come on, Prince, sir. Come on. Oh, there we go. Hey, um, I, I, I was wondering if um, Gary might give me my job back. Oh, I don't know. Oh, do you think you could? Oh, Lily, please, shush. Oh, Seb. Right, don't you start. Sit down, good boy. Oi. Give the uh, tables a wipe down, we. Why can't you do it? Because I'm busy. Thinking. Oh, morning. Oh, you look a bit glum for this time of day. Well, you know, I'm breaking these heels in for the wedding. What do you think? Does, did he make me bum up like a muffin on stilts? Uh, no way. Oh, a uh, lovely muffin. Well, thanks, boys. Hey, this is my busy mate from school. This is Lolly. Meet Ryan, Craig, and that's Ali. We've, we've. Have we? Just kidding. <laughs> Ali, was it? It's me, um, less attractive brother. I'm his boss. Oh, he's, uh, he's not my brother. And actually, I'm a doctor. He's not? He works here? No, I'm a doctor. Who cleans tables? Uh, what's this? Oh, this was my wedding ideas folder. Waste of money, it turned out to be, but still, I had a lovely day. So just imagine that face is yours. I kind of know what I want to wear, and it's not that. Well, what about a cake? I went for this. Uh, well, Robert's gonna make the cake. We're gonna keep it simple. And I love the fact you've got all your little mates helping you out, but it's your wedding, Kate. You have to have what you want, and who doesn't want a tower of cupcakes. Am I right, boys? Completely. I love cupcakes. Well, Robert's cake will be great and free. OK, well then, what about penny coins with the year of your marriage on? Hmm. That's what me and Tom went for. 
till I found out it was a cheating scumbag. <laughs> but still, it's perfect if you're on a budget. And it's funny, really, because they're actually money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not a bad idea. See, I am not just a pretty face. And a bang tidy ass. Half an hour to go. Let's hope for your sake they don't mess me about. This isn't you, Clayton. I'm a murderer and a drug dealer. What do you expect? Well, those are things you've done. But they're not you. Not who you really are. You've got no idea who I am. Of course I do. I'm your mum. Is that why you betrayed me, is it? I tried to help you. To get you into a safer unit. I didn't want to move, you stupid cow. But the beatings... You might have exaggerated that a bit. You told me your life was in danger. Because I wanted you just to bring me drugs. Yeah, to stop them beating you. So I could carry on selling them. I was making a mint until my dad balls it up. I don't understand. He was my supply. Smuggled him in. What? How? Up his backside for months. And then the idiot let a bag burst inside him. Dane died because he was carrying drugs for you. I paid him well. He knew the risk. I told you he didn't know me. It needs to come this way a bit more. Oh, people will trip over it. They'll notice it then, won't oh. they? It's good timing. Oh. Uh, yeah, we've just come to book a table for tonight, 7.30, if that's all right. For two? It's date night. Oh, you two have been together for years. Yeah, well, date nights keep the romance alive. <laughs> and involve a postprandial coffee, if you know what I mean. Fine. We don't need the gory details. So. Surely you two have um, date nights? We don't need them. <laughs> Every night a date night, is it? <laughs> Yasmin's right. We work together most days. And by the time we finish work, all we want to do is go home to our respective beds. Sounds very romantic. Romance has many forms, doesn't it, dear? Well, late for work. <laughs> we will see tonight. <laughs> Would you say that again, please? Look, would you keep your children under control? I can't hear a word. Yes? Oh, that's marvellous. What a relief. Thank you. My mortgage has been approved. Congratulations. I shall be moving round the corner. I know he's got something to do with Clayton. I know he's escaped from prison. I've told you what's happening. Right, come on, finish your drink. I don't want it. Oh, fine, we're going home. Oh, my gosh. Right, just give me a second. I'm just going to get this paid. Hi, Alex. Give it, give it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lily, where's Max? I can't believe you lied to me. Get over it. Mum, your little boy turned into a nightmare. Maybe it was your fault. They say it's always the parents. Time's nearly up. Try to stay calm, Clinton. It's all in hand. Stop messing me about! You've got ten minutes and then she dies. I mean it! Bleeding. Shut up. Come here, let, let me have a look. You can keep hold of the knife. Any funny business and you'll regret it. <laughs> Sorry. All right, hold on there. I'm just going to get a bubble, all right? <laughs> Cut me. Do you remember Snowy? That's right, mangy old stray, wasn't he? Little crumpled ear. All black except that little white patch on his eye. You say he looked like a gangster. And he still insisted on calling him Snowy. That was dead sweet, that. You threw him in the canal? Of course I didn't. Who told you that, Dane? Snowy got cancer. 
I had to have him put down. I didn't tell you because I didn't want to upset you. I know how much you love that cat. See, I do know you. And I know that my little boy's in there somewhere. And I will always, always love him. And I will always protect him, no matter what. It's too late. No, it's not. Why not? Because I don't want you to die. Because you're my son. If we leave together, they're not going to shoot you. OK, we'll go out hand in hand. You do that for me. Thing, so use it. Yes, sir. Um, um, Sally, is Gary in there? Not seen him. Max has gone AWOL. Oh, Mob, we'll look out for him. Guys, have you seen Max anywhere? He's run off. Um, is there something to do with Shona? Gary told me what happened. Yeah, I think he's seen a text from my mum. He's, he's going to be in a right well, state. Well, well, don't worry. Yeah, I'll help you look for him. If I maybe you can mind these two. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry, come on then, Mr. You... Is... We'll find him, yeah? Yeah, don't worry. Yeah? Oh. Aiming for that, are you? Well, four-pack would be good. <laughs> I do the odd uh, sit-up myself. Do you? Can't you tell? Not really, no. Gosh, these jumpers, yeah, the, uh, the knit creates an optical illusion. <laughs> but I'd rather be warm than ogled by women. Yeah, well, healthier choice for sure. Not that you need to be healthy anymore, now you're not a doctor. Well, I'm, I'm still a doctor. Yeah, but not a practising one, eh? I mean, I, I don't blame you. Long hours, huge responsibility, terrible vending machine tea, but at least you get a decent coffee at the bistro. Yeah. Yeah, well, makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? So, yeah, nice to chat. Moments on the lips. Yeah? I was just discussing the, uh, Male physique with our ex-doctor, Hallie. There's nothing wrong with my physique. I suppose if Yasmin likes it. She does. Forgive me if I'm intruding, uh, but I couldn't help sense there was a tension this morning that things might not be... Well, might be lacking in the uh, postprandial coffee area. She doesn't like coffee. Every couple needs coffee, Jeff. Without enough of it, the energy drops. There's what a vive. Without a small espresso. The coffee metaphor's gone too far now. But I I'm just saying, maybe you and Yasmin are, are working too hard. Scheduling a date night it works wonders for me and Cathy. Maybe the four of us could go out for dinner together. That's not an invitation to joint coffee, is it? No, it most certainly is not. Glad to hear it. Kids, but he's managed to get hold of my phone and find out somehow. Oh, for goodness oh, sake! I'll check the mat, yeah? Oh, God, don't, 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 I'm so sorry I told Jeff that was a bad idea. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I know this is a long shot. I don't suppose our Max is in there, is he? Oh, I, I'm afraid he isn't. Have you lost him? Yeah. Sarah! Oh! You, you, he was going to get on a tram. Where were you going? To go help Shona. 
Why didn't you tell me? Oh, darling, I'm sorry. He's gonna kill her, isn't he? He's just gonna be like my mum. No, it's not. Because David's there, he's with the police, and he's gonna get her out, OK? I want to help. You can't, darling. Let me go. Max, please. Look, listen, mate, I think you're very brave, all right? I'd want to do the same thing for my mum. Well, if she was, like, showing her anyway. Give me some tram money, then. The best way that you can help her is by staying here. What good's that gonna do? Because she needs you. I'll look after your sister, right? She'll be worried about her. I've got a little sister, about the same age as Lily, and when my mum's in a bad place, I know that looking after her is the best thing that I can do. Because we're big brothers. That's our job. And just think how pleased Shona's going to be when she gets back and she realises that you've been looking after Lily. I suppose. Come on, let's get you home. Please, Clayton! They could have given me what I wanted. They could have saved your life. No, look, if you give me cell phone, they're not going to shoot. They've got guns. They're going to use them. And if I'm dying, so will you. No, they won't shoot me. I know, which is why I'm going to kill you first. No, wait, 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 please. Just let me speak to David. You think I'm an idiot? Please, what harm could it do? It's not like they don't know that we're here, but he's Clayton. Clayton, I'm begging you. <laughs> Dr. Ali, yeah. uh, I need a man who's good with his hands. Hey? For polishing pennies. All oh, right. After he's used his hands to clean the gents. That's not my job. Yeah, well, clean the cold in six. Someone's got to do it. Right, so why not you then? Because I'm the boss, Doctor. Do you know what? You can stick your job right in. OK, it's about time I started doing something I actually trained for. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm sick of being bossed around, OK? So I'm going to go and call my supervisor and get my job. Oh, not right now, eh? Pennies to polish first. Yeah. How do you do that? Have you seen Crocodile Dundee? You know that bit where he makes that bull lie down? I think so. Well, it's like that, but without those weird fingers. Mm -hmm. Hey, what do you think of plantation blinds? Well, personally, I prefer the classic Venetian blinds, but it depends what it's for. Is it a bay window or...? My new flat. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Although, I found out where the bail accommodation's going to be. It's the old council building right there. What? Oh, I think it's a perfect use of an empty building, that. I can't be living next door to murderers and rapists. Oh, it's only former prisoners. They're convicted of non-violent crimes. I don't want any prisoners, former or otherwise, in my vicinity. No offence intended, darling. Well, then, I'm afraid you're going out with the wrong man. You have met Ken's family, haven't you? That is completely different. This halfway house full of burglars and drug addicts does not belong in a residential area. And I intend to fight it. Well, then, I hope they fight you right back. I won't let this lie. Oh. Why should she come home? She will. If she doesn't, I'll look after Lily. If you look after David. Oh, Max. Maybe that's them. Her face said they were good as gold. Oh, thank you. Hey, darling, come on. Here we go. Oh, thanks so much, Seb. Do you want to know where? I have a brew. I've just stuck the kettle on. Hey, buddy. All right. I'm sorry I ran off before. I didn't mean to scare you. I wasn't scared. Can I play with your Xbox? Really? Fine. I'll show you what to do. Any news? Sorry. Don't be daft. Um, I'm going to have a word with Gary about your job. That's not important. No, he shouldn't have fired you. And after what you did today, um, it's the least I could do. Hello? Shona? Can you put it on speaker? Oh, David! I just... Can we speak to him? You've got ten seconds. <laughs> I'm just calling to say goodbye. <laughs> so, Max and Lily, I love them. I love you, David. I love you so much. Attack!
time's up. No, 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 get off me, get off me. No, you're going okay, nowhere. Okay, no, no. Uh -huh. Help! 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 Help!